Welcome back, guys. You are tuned in and watching Central Oregon Shenanigans this evening. Yes, I'm posting a video. Yes, that bumper is so shiny you could probably see back at me. But um, Gus and I just finished up a tune-up on the newest auction truck. Newest uh, member of the channel for a short period of time. Uh, there's going to be a video on this. I just wrapped it up. Uh, but this is kind of an update. I'm still alive. I'm still here. I want, had a video that I, I didn't really put too much to, and I was like, oh, I've got two videos here of selling two of the auction trucks that we're just going to go ahead and get out of the way. Uh, this happened in the last eight weeks. Uh, so we sold the gray truck. It came and it was so popular. It just left. It, it literally was so quick that I didn't get to film anything on it. So I'll throw that in here. And also the $800 7.3 is gone. This jelly bean is here and a 6.0 is out back. A new 6.0 and a very sweet, clean 6.0 is out back. So we're going to be filming on that soon. I have been filming. I've been super busy, guys. It's my busy season. Uh, with that being said, hit that subscribe, hit the like, and in the fall, we'll probably do a video dump. Uh, we'll get through uh, July and August, and then September is where kind of like you'll see videos start flowing back out on the channel again. But a uh, little something different. F-150 gas. It's what I found. <coughs> Excuse me. Choking on my own spit here. Um, but yeah, uh, check out, um, these two video clips I'm going to throw in here of the $800 truck, uh, the $800 seven, three power stroke leaving and the, uh, six Oh leaving the gray one. Um, do you got anything to say Gus? No, not at all. Huh? You hungry? You ate your dinner already. <laughs> all right, guys, I will, uh, see you here, uh, on the next video. Well, this one didn't last long guys. Got it home, Papa got some fender flares put on it, and listed it and sold it the same day. So, new buyer, new owner, is coming to pick it up right now. And so I don't really get to do much on this truck. Just be a quick walk around. Sorry about if there's any wind noise. wind yeah so quickest one I've had uh, two weeks getting it here and the winds gonna blow and so what I was trying to say and then the wind started blowing um, two weeks from getting it from the auction getting a couple pieces repaired on it which wasn't worth making a video and she's going home to a new family today I'm driving my son's truck, a.k.a. Rosie. Yeah, my front leaf spring on this side is completely gone, and I'm starting to sag. So the Super Duty is down. My 97 is not comfortable to drive daily. So I am driving the kid's truck since he's not old enough to drive it yet. So anyway, that's kind of an update here at Central Oregon Shenanigans. Um, I've been fighting COVID again. I just probably lost monetization, but it's still a thing, guys. It's still floating around out here, and it's still pretty brutal when you catch it. I'm going on day 10, and I just do not feel good. I haven't been doing anything besides just trying to get through, uh, just getting better. So, with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty, guys. I just needed to do a small little update. I guess it's not an update. This is a final goodbye to our $800 73 um, and kind of like a little final write-up video here um, so let's go through this one we didn't put too much into this one but it was cheap it is running and driving it needs glow plugs hence why it's plugged in because the new owner is coming to pick it up we got this for $800 on auction now we got to break it down so $800 on auction and then you're gonna have auction fees. Yes, fees. So with auction fees and diesel to get it home, 
we're roughly in the twelve, thirteen hundred dollar uh, area, uh, just to get this truck off the auction, get it on the trailer, and get it home. Now, this needed a transfer case and a transmission. The transfer case exploded, blew up the transmit or cracked the transmission, so that ran me eight hundred dollars plus miscellaneous shop materials, transmission fluid, all the good stuff. So after all that, with transmission, buying the truck, um, miscellaneous shop fees, and to restock some things, we're looking at, we're into this truck, $2,200 roughly. And then at the end of the day, we just sold it for 35. So you can see not very much profit margin on this one for how much work it cost, but it was the it was more of the adventure. The adventure of how Yes, you can find something super cheap still and turn it into a running and driving pickup for somebody. It still needs some work. The front end's going to need some work. It's got um, it's got some loose U-joints in the axle shafts and the drive shaft's not 100% and it's got some oil leaks under the hood um, that we're not fixing. There's just no, you got to know when to draw that line of when to stop fixing something and because it dips into your profits, so... You can't, when you're flipping vehicles, um, you can't, you can't fix everything and don't lie about it. Be honest with the people. And that's, I mean, you're getting, this is the cheapest 7.3 on the West coast that I know of that's four wheel drive. So, uh, he basically, we came to an agreement that, Hey, look, this is a cheap truck. It needs work, but it does run and drive and he doesn't care as long as it moves under its own power. He's coming to get it. So. And it does. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to do a little what did it cost. And it's going down the road. Bye-bye. See you next time here on Central Oregon Shenanigans.